Often in human relationships, though, other factors are involved. Uh, how do you forgive somebody who has deeply hurt you? Uh, and you know you ought to, and yet the memory is still there, the scars are still there. How is that realistically put into action, or do we just simply say, well, we just mm. can't go there? Mm. Well, I think the key is to, as Scripture says, forgive as you have been forgiven. And remember, I think it's in Matthew 18, the, the parable about uh, the man who is forgiven uh, by the person that he's in deep debt to and, and not thrown to jail. But then he goes, and his debt that he owed was, was very large. And then there's someone else who owes a smaller debt to him, and he refuses to forgive him. And then when the master, the original master who forgave, hears of this, he says, well, if you're not willing to forgive, then I'm not forgiving you. And here's how that works. If you really are forgiven, and you understand what that means, you must forgive other people because what you have done against God is far worse than what any other human being will ever do to you. Hmm. Now, some people have argued with that. They say, are you kidding me? What if somebody rapes you? What if somebody abuses you? What if somebody... Right, that's a horrific thing. And that's a sin against you, and it was a sin against God. But... Your sin against God, because God's infinitely holy, and you're a sinner, and your sins against him are greater, and Scripture is clear on this, than somebody's offense about you who have uh, lesser worth. Yeah, I'll say that. Than God. He's the creator. We are the created so, it doesn't minimize that person's sin against you. It just simply puts it in perspective. If God went to the cross to die for my sins that I might be reconciled to him, he also went to the cross to die for their sins that they might be reconciled to him and to me. And I just would encourage you, you don't have to, you, you don't have to wait till the other person repents. You say, to the extent that I can, by God's grace, I forgive you. Of course, you need to acknowledge your sin before the Lord, preferably acknowledge it to me. But whether you do or not, I am not going to be in bondage the rest of my life through my lack of forgiveness. And this is what people don't get. Mm -hmm. They don't realize that they are in bondage. To not forgive somebody else as the uh, analogy goes, is like drinking poison and waiting for them to die. No. You're the one that's going to suffer. They, they'll go, the person you don't forgive, they'll go home and probably sleep fine tonight, but you're the one that's going to be. It's not in your best interest, and it's not grace. So grace and truth should lead us to forgive others as we have been forgiven.